Um, good evening, guys. Um, just, I'm going to do a quick analysis on G, GPUSD. Um, it did took a position and then come out. Um, I advise you guys to come out. I think it was a minus 10 or 15 pips. Um, the reason for that is um, at the time, it just um, some Brexit news came out and markets start shooting opposite direction. Um, so I don't, don't want to take any, uh, any chances with the trade. But, um, well, to be honest, i um, probably made the right decision by doing this because it did go back and touch this stuff. Yeah, it still was at 40, so it did touch it. So it was a, it was the right decision in terms of pulling out early. Um, right now, what I'm seeing on GPSD is, um, I'll be expecting a bounce here um, at um, 129.70 around this area here, where the blue line is. This is where I'll be expecting a bounce um, on um, GPSD, and that could take price around 27 area. So I'll be expecting a bounce here from there, around 27 area. Um, one of the reasons is, um, I'll be monitoring on a smaller time frame to see what is actually happening. Um, this is daily. Um, this mark here is actually um, actually the 61% um, of last, um, last um, weekly move. So I'll be expecting um, some sort of um, reaction here, um, even possibly around where it is now. But this is where I'll be expecting. If I see a market there, around this area, that's where I will be um, selling, um, taking a um, short position um, with probably about 20, 25 pips stop, just above um, 130. So I'll be, if I see market bouncing, um, reject price reject here, I'll be selling it. And with about 20 to 30 pips stop, so it'll be, stop will be around just above um, 1300, um, 130. So stop going to be about just about, um, above this. Um, it could turn around from here, but this is where I'll be expecting to, to bounce. So I thought I'll give you guys a um, quick um, analysis on this. Um, if you look at it. So this is where I'll be expecting that this current move to come to an end here. From there, I'll be expecting something like that. And then possibly to the top. So that is uh, my view on um, G, um, GVP, GPUSD. So what is happening here? Yeah, you guys also have to watch out for this area here. Um, there, actually it did bounce today. Uh, this is something I missed, uh, missed out. So it did bounce back of this trend, trend line. As you can see it there. But I'll be expecting doing something like, um, let me get the drawing tool out. Yeah, so I'll be expecting from there, I'll be expecting something like that here. Um, this is my view on GPUSD and then that move. Um, so let's see um, how the market actually, um, how the daily closes today and um, today. And then we're gonna make a decision on that. But at the moment, um, I thought probably even take a small, um, probably take an early position here where it is now, um, probably with 15, 20 pips stop, just to see if this level we um, respect or not. Because this is where I'll be mainly a bit of myself. And this one, could possibly um, do a pullback at least up to here, which is still around 100 pips. So in terms of 20 pips stop, targeting this um, probably be worth it. So that is the reason that I will be looking to take a position even from current level. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, today's market is moving opposite to what is actually happening with Brexit. So last few hours, we probably see um, massive pullback just like that. It could happen. So. That is something to watch out for next um, few hours before the market closes. Um, we could end up see one of those um, reversal pattern form. Um, don't know yet because at the moment, it's really confusing how GDP is moving. Um, they're just moving opposite to what uh, the, any, any news coming out is moving the opposite way. So I think just the fat bankers um, messing around with us. Um, that's what I can see from looking at the chart. It just nothing really adding up um, in terms of um, candlestick, um, what is candlestick, candlestick showing? Just not adding up, um, and it's not following any 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 formation either. So I think just bankers just messing around, messing around with this. So we just have to be patient and it's very very important to manage the risk as well. Um, right now it's bounced at 40, 20 and 40, and this is where I'll be looking to mainly looking to take a short position. But right now here, I'll be watching watching this for. Um, at least we're going to watch for four hours to close. And um, that would give, give me, oops, 
would let me make a decision um, on to take a position here or not. As you can see, just looking to get there. So it's gonna get there or not, and we'll find out. But this is the area that I will be looking to sell. And I won't be I'll be only be taking um, about 25 to 30 pips max. Um the stop is going to be just above 30, um 130. So one three zero, yeah, just stop is going to be just above that. So if you guys see the markets around that area and you're looking to take position, I would advise you around this area. And right now, if I see um any sort of reversal pattern, maybe in one hour, four hour, um probably take a position. Um on that list, if I do put a stop around here, just above the rejection and put at least target up to here. So that would be the first target, it is 2840. Um, it's very much possible 2840. And um, so that will be this is be this is something that I'll be targeting. But right now it's well, I'm focusing on how the daily closes. Um, at the moment, as I said, it's just not make, it's not making much sense in terms of fundamental side of things. So let's see if we get a bounce here or not. Right, thanks a lot guys. Um, hopefully this is this is gonna help you um, making a decision.